Здравейте! Вие се свързвахте с Българския хиозенски комитет. Уведомяваме ви, че разговора може да бъде записан. Yes, hello. Do you have anyone who speaks English? Yes, I speak English. Okay, and your name is? Um, first of all, why are you calling? Okay, uh, my name is Sasha Uzanov. I'm, I'm an Australian journalist and I have some media questions that I would like to ask. Uh, okay, let me just connect you to someone that could answer your questions because I'm just a secretary. No worries. Thank you. Okay, just a second. Hello? Yes, hello. How are you? Great, thank you. My name is Radoslav Stoyanov. I'm working for the legal department of Bulgarian Housing Committee. Uh, my name is Sasha Uzanov and I'm, a, I'm an Australian journalist and filmmaker. I'm calling you from Melbourne, Australia. I, I have some questions that, that I would like to ask you. Okay. Let me see if I can help. No worries. Uh, look, uh, uh, speaking to the Macedonian community here in Australia, many are alarmed at the uh, rising Bulgarian uh, neo-Nazism, especially attacker. <laughs> and Bulgaria's Defence Minister Krasimir, uh, Krasimir Karakachanov, I believe, who... Uh, yeah, Deputy Prime Minister. That's yeah. right, he, who, who's made a strange statement where he regards the 1941 uh, collab Bulgaria's collaboration with Nazi Germany and invasion of Macedonia as liberation. That's, that's uh, alarmed a lot of Macedonians, as you know, that that's a kind of sort of a Holocaust denial. Um, what's your reaction to to all of that? My personal reaction, or the reaction of our organization? The reaction of your organization to to such extremism in in Bulgaria, especially against yeah. Macedonians. Well, I we I neither I know about the specific case, nor I know of any official reaction from our organization, so I cannot speak on behalf of the organization. Okay. Uh, but in general, I can say that uh, our organization, through the years, have supported many local um, groups of Macedonians who try to register okay. uh, their community organizations yes. in Bulgaria. But uh, for many years, they have been denied this opportunity by Bulgarian government. Okay. They cannot even register their non-profit organizations. Okay. So we have led several cases on behalf of those organizations before European Court of Human Rights. Okay. We all, all of them are successful, but unfortunately, uh, the execution of the judgments by the Bulgarian government is lacking completely. Okay. Uh, and, of course, we have many cases, uh, both on national uh, level and before European Court of Human Rights, yes. specifically against uh, Mr. Karakachanov's political party, okay. um, and um, against uh, uh, the party of Ataka, they are two separate parties. Yes, yes. Although they are currently in a coalition. With uh, the Prime uh, Minister... So yeah, we are naturally very active in opposition of those political parties. Okay. And actually, at the moment that you call me, we yes. just published a statement okay. uh, in regards to uh, Mr. Karakachanov's uh, public remarks of today, okay. where he uses a case of uh, a crime per perpetrated by two Roma people, yes. by two Roma men against yes. uh, an ethnic Bulgarian man. Yes. And uh, he uses this case uh, with uh, ethnic typification of crime yes. in order to victimize the whole Roma yes. community in Bulgaria. So uh, even today we are actually okay. reacting to uh, what he does, but okay. unfortunately uh, he, uh, he, his party and the coalition of these ultra-nationalist parties yes. are now in the government yes. and they are seen as an important, important ally of the right-wing uh, neoliberal government of Republic of Bulgaria. So uh, you're talking about the Prime Minister Boyko Borisov, uh, his coalition yes, government. Yes, he is, 
party is for from uh, yet another fourth uh, political party that yes. is not itself ultranationalist, but it is a right-wing, okay. centrist, uh, new liberal political party. And the Macedonian organization in Bulgaria you refer to is Omo Ilinden, is that, is that correct? Yes, it is uh, a non-formal, currently a non-formal organization. Yes. We, we have a close ties with them and we do support them actively for okay. many years now. Look, I, I, I appreciate your, your time uh, talking to me.